Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Please subscribe followed by the bell. The Galaxy Watch 6 and 6 Pro aren't even officially announced yet. It's reasonable to expect that Samsung would want to continue its lineup of successful smartwatches. With that in mind and based on Samsung's previous release schedule of Galaxy Watches, which has always been extremely consistent, we can speculate that the Galaxy Watch 6 and 6 Pro could be released in late August of 2023. Currently we expect the Galaxy Watch 6 Pro to have the same price as its predecessor. The Galaxy Watch 5 Pro similarly, the Galaxy Watch 6 which will come in two sizes, is very likely to keep the same price of its predecessor, the Galaxy Watch 5. The cheapest Galaxy Watch 6 series model would be the GPS only, smallest 40mm one, starting at $279. On the other end of the price spectrum, the Galaxy Watch 6 Pro, likely to only be available in 45mm will cost up to $499 for the variant with both GPS and cellular connectivity. Unlike the Apple Watch, Samsung has chosen a different design language for its smartwatches, with a circular watch display akin to a traditional watch. Both the Galaxy Watch 6 Pro and 6 will have one protected by glass, with that being sapphire crystal glass on the former and gorilla glass on the latter, the Galaxy Watch 6 Pro in particular will of course be the most premium, with its sapphire crystal glass covered 1.4 inch Super AMOLED display and its titanium body. We're yet to know whether the iconic rotating bezels earlier Samsung smartwatches offered will be back but based on the Watch 5 series, unfortunately that seems unlikely. In terms of water resistance, we can expect the Galaxy Watch 6 series to have 5 ATM plus IP68. Like their predecessors, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Pro and Galaxy Watch 6 will be running Google's Wear OS operating system, with Samsung's One UI Watch software overlay on top. This unfortunately means that those smartwatches will be able to pair with Android phones only, so no iPhone support here. The good news is that Wear OS has become a highly competent smartwatch operating system over the years and has countless apps available, countless watch faces, way more options than Apple Watch, and of course watch face widgets. In addition, the bioactive sensor. Samsung smartwatches will pack provide some of the most accurate health data and wellness insights. The infrared skin temperature sensor that came a bit underdeveloped on the Watch 5 series is likely to make a return and offer better functionality. Right now we expect few changes from its predecessor, so the Galaxy Watch 6 Pro is likely to pack a 590mA battery and offer up to 60 hours of battery life or close to three days before needing to charge. Obviously that is with sparse or no GPS or activity tracking though. As for the Galaxy Watch 6, it'll likely pack a much smaller 284 mAh battery and in turn offer lesser battery life. We usually get a full day from its predecessors and that's the best we can hope for again. That is it guys. Without been said, let me know your thought in the comment below. And if you are new here, please subscribe, like the video, comment, thanks for watching. See you on my next video. One peace out.